Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a multiple will zoom out transition effect easy in After Effects. So here I have two of my clips, one is a will clip that I'm going to use for the transition, and first what we should do is, overlap your two clips like that. Just make sure that the wheel layer is above your second clip. Now select the clip with the wheel and then we have to mask it out, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha select an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking forward button. In case your mask messes up, make sure to stop the tracking and jump to the second frame like this and then correct the mask. Once you are done correcting, hit on tracking button again. And now as you see tracking is smooth and it doesn't move anywhere. Once the tracking is done, click on save here and then close Mocha AE. Now expand matte and then click on create AE masks, then press M on a keyboard and change mask mode to subtract. Now duplicate that layer and rename top one to wheel only. Then press M on a keyboard and change mask mode back to add. I will toggle off wheel only layer for a while and then select the bottom one. Let's duplicate it now and select bottom one and press S on a keyboard. Downscale bottom layer something like that. Now let's duplicate that layer and on a bottom one downscale the wheel again. Duplicate again and downscale the bottom one. Do that until it's enough to you and once you are satisfied with duplicated wheels, make sure to create new camera layer. Make sure that the type is set to two node camera and then hit OK. Move camera layer above all masked layers and then select all these masked layers and enable 3D on them. Let's select camera layer now and then press A on a keyboard, then hold shift and press P. Now click on point of interests and position stopwatch icons to create keyframes, then grab those keyframes and move forward where you want zooming out transition to end. Now grab a dolly cursor tool and then make sure you are at the very beginning of your camera layer and then zoom in until you don't see the clip. Let's quickly check it. Let's select both keyframes and hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's check it one more time. Looks fine to me, now close graph editor and then toggle on wheel only layer to bring the rim back. Make sure wheel layer is selected and then scroll to the second camera keyframes right here and then press P on a keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and then slightly scroll back something like this and move the wheels position down. Now make sure to move wheel only layer below your first masked layer and then we can check the effect. Looks fine to me, but let's select both position keyframes and hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then highlight all masked layers and enable motion blur on them and then let's check it one more time. Looks smoother and better. In case you want more duplicated wheels, just make sure to duplicate very last masked layer, then select bottom one and downscale it. Do the same steps until you will be satisfied with it and we are done with the zooming out effect. Also to make that effect much more better, I will add a shake effect once the rim closes. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.